Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another exciting Loot Crate unboxing. I literally just got my Loot Crate. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I've been doing everything I can to avoid Loot Crate pictures and stuff like that so I can be surprised. But <clears throat> for whatever reason, like, normally I get my Loot Crate really, really early compared to a lot of my other friends. And so I'm the first person to unbox. And this time I wasn't. So I am... Very excited about this, especially since I really like the theme this month. I believe it's like magic or something like that, mysticism. I don't know. I'll find out before I actually go forward. There we go. Do, 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 do. What is the theme for this week or month? Whatever it is. I don't know. Very good. I'll figure it out. <clears throat> so, look at it. Oh, beautiful loot crate. Let's see what we got in here. All right, so. Moving up. First things first. Okay, this I knew was going to be in there, uh, and it doesn't make it any less awesome. Oh, it's a doctor's tree. <laughs> and he's got the sling ring and everything like that. So this is 100% from um, the movie uh, Doctor Strange, uh, more so than the comic books. Uh, as you can even see, it's got Benedict Cumberbatch on there. And, um... I got a chance to see uh, Doctor Strange on opening day. It was brilliant. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I thought Benedict Cumberbatch did such a great job. And I think my favorite thing apart uh, uh, about it uh, was the fact that... Uh, sorry, you're going to hear a lot of, of noises and things like that as I open this because I can't leave things like this uh, in the box because I'm not that kind of person. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this. It's got the... It's hard to see, but it's got the Sanctum Centaurum uh, little thing there, and oh, it's so cool. He's got his, he's doing the sling ring thing, and it's just, he's got the Eye of Agamotto and the Cloak of Levitation. Anyway, uh, so one of the things I really enjoyed about it was the fact that his costume <clears throat> looks really, really close to the comic book costume that he's, he's known for. Um, and other than, like, Iron Man... Um, <clears throat> most of, like, the modern, uh, tellings of all this stuff, like, they don't really get the costume that close. Um, like, Hawkeye's completely different. Um, technically, uh, uh, what do you call it? Black Widow is pretty damn close, but that's because she wears, you know, a, a, a black onesie in the comics, and they gave her a black onesie in the thing, so, I mean, it's not that big a deal. Um... I just, I really, really enjoy the fact that um, they got it so close to the actual comic book costume while still making it look like it's something he would actually wear, um, which is really, really hard to do. I mean, look at all the X-Men films. Like, it's just, it's hard. Anyway, let's look at other stuff. So, I've got this. I think this is, oh. What is this? Come on, come on, come on. Open up. I become an Obliviator. Recruiting now. Every half moon of the month. So I believe this is from... I have not seen Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them yet. Uh, but I believe that is where this is from. Uh, especially since it, it says Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I've heard really good things about it. I hope to see it next week. I just haven't been able to do it. Um, crap. Next Friday is... is ooh, that won't be fun. Um, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's my... Ooh, so soft. I love the t-shirts in these. They're really, really nice. Um, I have no idea what this is, but damn, does it look cool. Oh, this is Game of Thrones. Um, so this is a Game of Thrones something. I wonder if it's just a diary. That would be kind of cool. Uh, I bet you my therapist wouldn't mind me having one of those either. So, hey, cool. All right, here we go. We're going to close this and I'm going to check out exactly what this is. Yeah, it's just a... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, it's just like a date book or a diary or something like that. It's really, really nice, uh, as you guys can see. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to use it for, but I like it. So we'll put that down. Uh, we have our, our clip... Oh, ooh. This is very cool. Um, it unlocks something epic, which is very cool. All right, we're going to stop it. Rah! All right, 
So this is the pin for this month. And like I said, um, I'm not normally a big pin guy, but I'm really liking all the pins that you get with this. Uh, this one is, uh, this is actually the symbol for Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I actually play Elder Scrolls Online. I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see what that turns into. Uh, I will look that up in a little bit. Uh, what is this? Oh, really? This is cool. Um, so this is a comic. It's Big Trouble in Little China and Escape from New York crossover kind of thing. Like, it looks really, really cool. I really enjoyed the last uh, comic. It was a Valiant comic. Uh, this one, uh, this is from Boom Studios. I'm not as familiar with them as I am with Valiant, but uh, ooh, this looks like fun. Uh, I'm big comic book fan. I never get a chance to buy them. Uh, because my closest comic book store is in the next town over. Um, and I never have disposable income. So uh, this looks really, really cool, guys. Uh, I will be very happy to read that. Uh, and then it looks like the last thing in here is, as always, Loot Crate Magazine. Uh, again, it's magical is the theme. I couldn't remember it. Uh, and let's see the stuff that's in here. Um... Oh, cool. So the, the Loot Crate itself turns into a box of magical things. Uh, that That's kind of cool. Uh, here's the Doctor Strange stuff, and it's got a lot of little info on uh, Doctor Strange himself. But again, I love Doctor Strange. I really, really do. Oh, it talks about the Wanda Watoon, the Cloak of Levitation, the Book of the Vishanti. Uh, there's, some stu there's a quiz about uh, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Talks about the do, 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 talks about the journal in there. Uh, Game of Gods, religion, and Game of Thrones. I am uh, I am a horrible person. I've never watched a single episode of Game of Thrones, but I've heard it's amazing. Um. So yeah, this is that's uh, the comic, and it's got a uh, a crossword in there, and then the Elder Scrolls Online. Oh wait wait wait, Imperial Edition upgrade. Oh, cool! This gives you the Imperial Edition. Um, which is really, really cool. Uh, uh, long story short, it's it's a uh, it's a free expansion. Well, it's not free. It's normal, It normally costs like 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, but you get it for free. Part of it. That's cool! Uh, there's Gears of War stuff in here. Uh, here's... Uh, looks like a an interview with Joseph Rome. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the name looks Welsh. Um, um, so it's a, a, an interview with an actual magician. Uh, I love magic in general. Um, and they have a coin trick in here. Hmm. Very cool. So it teaches you how to do a, a, a coin trick, which I'm not going to show anyone. Because then I'd be revealing the secrets of magic. And you can't do that. Uh, and they have a gift guide? <laughs> oh, cool. Look at this. They have all these little gifts and things that they talk about. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and even more. Oh, cool. A gold and silver Voltron? Oh, it's a ring. That's cool. What's that? Assassin's Creed guillotine scarf. That's interesting. What is that? Well, wait. There's a Fallout jumpsuit onesie. <laughs> and, oh, Spider Gwen. And, uh, so there's more. November's Magical Mega Experience. Uh, cool. And then, yeah. There's some featured looters and everything like that. Cool. So, that is everything in the book. And, um, yeah, I, uh, I am super excited. I should probably get close to the mic again. I am super excited about this month. Uh, it was really, really cool. Um, I've got to say, still my favorite. Like, everything else was cool, but I have a little Doctor Strange. It doesn't get any cooler than that. So, yeah. Hope you guys, uh... Uh, uh, enjoyed this. Uh, I am I am still absolutely sold that Loot Crate is, is probably one of my favorite things. 
uh, in the entire world right now because it's just a blast every single time. Um, so yeah, uh, look, if you're watching this, if you would like to sponsor me, you are more than welcome to, uh, beyond that, this is just me, uh, doing things because you guys apparently enjoy my unboxing. So, all right. So that's all for me today and I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye.